Here's a video to see how much a synchronous motor can move. This one is moving a skateboard, but the purpose of the video is uh, to see how much weight can it actually move. And uh, I'll explain how I built this prototype. And uh, you could probably use it for a lot of different things other than this. All right, I'm gonna show you how I made this prototype so I can see if I can get this motor, synchronous motor to move a skateboard with certain uh, pounds. Um, so here's a synchronous motor. I'll have the link on with the uh, description of the video and also these little adapters on here. I wish I knew about these a long time ago. I got these on Amazon too. I will put that in the link. These are amazing, they're great. So with this, we're gonna use a wood right here. Um, so I had a, one of those two inch drill saw, whatever they're called, and uh, got that drilled through and they fit perfect with these motors. So you put it in there and then what screws, I mean, you can use any screws you want, but I use these screws right here a lot, these number six screws. those in the place. So now that's going to stay in its place. It's not going to move. So the next thing you're going to get is these little metal flat bar things. I got them at Home Depot. Um, I'll have the link on the description where to get these. Um, I bought three of them. But uh, what you wanna try to do is match the holes to here. It's not going to match, you're gonna to have to drill a hole, right? So right here, let's see. I already drilled the hole. So I drilled this hole. So you're gonna to wanna to put in the screws in there to hold it. And then you wanna put in the, the nuts to secure it. Now I would get locked nuts for these because um, that way they could stay in place. Um, just for the prototype I didn't, but you wanna attach them so this bar stays. Okay, so now we have that on there pretty good. We're going to put the other bar on to it. Now, I use a similar bar to it, or you could um, cut your third one on this to extend it. But I extended the arm here because if you don't put an extension on it, when it does this whole rotation, it's going to, it's going to do the whole rotation of the same length of this bar so i put a slow extension on here like i said i put lock nuts on it so it could stay in there so what we're going to do here is we are going to attach it to here now we need enough space between here so when it rotates to here it does not catch this because if you just put the a one washer in there when it turns see here when it turns it could hit that so what do i have here I know I 
constantly have stuff out of frame. I'm working on that part. So to make the gap, I put in the screw and I put in a couple of the nuts uh, that are uh, too big for the screw that I put in. I'm just doing it so I could get some length and some height in between the two bars because we're going to want it to clear all the other screws around it. And if you don't have it level to what you have it attached to, at an angle, it will catch. So when you are building this, you just got to put the motor and what it's attached to in the armature, try to get it as level as possible. But here I'm putting in some extra nuts so I could get the, um, the height that I need. See right there, so now I have the height I need. Uh, later on in the video, I'll show you how it moves if it's not high enough and it will catch. So this will allow it to swing by, uh, you know, as it's making its movement and it could completely miss all the rest of the build here to give it the, the clearance it needs. Okay, so this is what I put onto the skateboard. And I just used one of these eye hooks to put it in there, screwed it on there. So the, and I taped this to the skateboard. So the purpose of it is the end of the arm here. end of the arm here is going to go here so you would put the screw and a lock nut you'd put it on a hook so how it looks sideways is like that and then you have you know the screw the lock on it so that's how it's going to hook up to the skateboard You might have to adjust the eye hole screw on this, but I just taped this to the skateboard. Okay, so here's my setup for my prototype. All hooked up to the skateboard. You might have to adjust that eye hook there. If the armatures, uh, the nut or the, the screws are not tall enough and it's too close together then it will catch so something like this look it's uh it's pretty close together there you don't want it that close if it's not a big enough gap or tall enough it will catch and won't do the full rotation it'll move still though So what I did here was add some more nuts to it to give it the gap. Now with the correct gap and how it's set up, it should work as intended to do the full rotation, to go completely around to move the skateboard back and forth. So I'm guessing the skateboard's four or five pounds or so, and I'm going to be using cornhole bean bags that are almost a pound each to try to figure out what weight can this motor actually move. So here is four bean bags. So let's just say four pounds plus a five pound, I say four pound skateboard, I do five pounds. So that's like nine pounds right there. Uh, I mean, it moves, um, it doesn't go all the way. So I think, uh, eight pounds is too heavy for this. Here I'm using three bean bags. So let's say this is seven pounds. And I mean, it moves. It doesn't do the full rotation, but it could still kind of do what you want. I mean, if you're using like foam or anything light, 
you should be able to put some type of prop on there and move it no problem but it, this still doesn't go the full rotation now this next one will do two bean bags so let's say this is six pounds and as you can see it does the full rotation and it'll move it back and forth now i know they have this whole formula is depending on how long an arm is uh it reduces the weight it can move like with servos i don't know about any of that i can't calculate all that crap so all i do is put on stuff until it doesn't move anymore with full direction and then i start taking off stuff so I hope this helps uh, you be able to use this build for a lot of things. Um, maybe a groundbreaking zombie or any type of movement. So uh, I, I hope the video helped. And uh, someone asked me in the comments if we can move this stuff. I figured the only way to figure it out is to build something to see if it could work. These motors are amazing. And as I learn to do more stuff with them, I will add in the videos.